super cool party people and welcome back to the theater I am here I'm also having terrible troubles breathing right now and I don't think it's from being sick I have a suspicion that's the word I'm going for that it is really bad allergies because I got into the car and my mom smokes in the car sometimes and just and I can't breathe very well and it's just a great way to start the day. I think the next couple days the plan is to move a bunch of stuff but I just looked at the weather forecast and it's supposed to rain a lot but I know my plan for this afternoon when I get home is probably to nap because I am not feeling great. Also the breathing thing. <laughs> It's like the worst out of all the things is just not being able to breathe very well. I hate it. Anyway, I'm gonna go have my breakfast drink and then get to work. It should be a short day today. I don't think there's too much stuff to do, which is nice and just, yeah, <laughs> not feeling it, honestly. And again, breathing, sometimes important. Anyways, I'm gonna go and I'll check in with you hopefully after work when I'm about to go climb into bed to have a nap. Alrighty, so I am home from work now. It is just after one. I worked until about 12.30. Then we had to go to the store because I needed to pick up a few things. I got some more Christmas presents, which I cannot show because the people who they are for watch this, so that is not good. Um, but I'm doing all right. I think I have four complete at this moment. Um, except one of them I want to do a DIY thing to, so if I do that, maybe I'll like film it, but not share it until after Christmas. Anyway, yeah, so it's a really cool thing, but now I'm tasked with the burden of act, bird, birdum, 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 the burden of actually getting it done. So hopefully it comes off because I think it'll be cool. It's still a cool gift if I don't, but it'd be cooler if I did. Anyway, it is about 20 after one. My breathing is still really terrible. I'm really struggling to breathe today and that's not cool because I am a little bit susceptible to like bronchitis and all that fun stuff because I've, I've had it before and um, it's not cool. It puts you out of commission, you need a puffer, all that fun stuff. So hopefully that's not the, t the route we're headed in. Um, but I think I'm gonna do some chilling and I think we're moving some stuff today, but I really have no energy. So I'm just gonna For a bit. I don't know if you know and there's really no way you could know also mic pack on the towel I don't even know <laughs> Use that word too many times, but it's been a very long time since I picked up the camera I got home. I did a little bit of packing, but I cannot show you because there are some gifts on there So we cannot show that um, but I packed up like part of the lower half of my bookshelves it was a struggle because i feel so miserable <laughs> that like i would sit up and feel dizzy like other than a headache and feeling slightly dizzy sometimes and this cough that is terrible by the way i don't have like any sick symptoms so i don't know what level of sick i am i can't tell it's super annoying i'm switching this way because then i don't have to worry about accidentally showing gifts Ugh, beautiful. Um, so I laid here for quite some time, packing very, very slowly, and then my mom was like, let's go to the store and get you some medicine. And I'm like, I don't even know what medicine I would get. There is no medicine, like, because it's not really chest congestion. Like, it's just, it's a very high respiratory cough. I sound very scientific there. I'm not, but that's, it's up here. It's not down low. It's not in my throat. Cause she's like, oh, maybe you could have a throat lossage. I'm like, it is my lungs. Um, so I found these like uh, Vicks Vapo tablet things that like you put in the shower. So I just had a shower. I don't think it was effective at all. Like I could barely even smell it most of the time. <laughs> so I don't know. Uh, but I did also get some Vicks Vapor Rub. Again, like, it's not chest congestion, so I don't know if it's going to do anything, but maybe it'll placebo me better. I have no appetite. I haven't really had an appetite for a couple days, which is always a bad thing because you either eat not enough or you eat too much. That's what I find. Like, I'm not hungry, but I know I should eat, so I will eat all the things. Or I'm not hungry, I know I should eat, but I don't want to eat. So that's where we're at, too. It's, 
it's been good. It's been good. So it is currently quarter to nine. It has been a long day of me, like just no low to no energy. Like I had dinner, I think like around six and I just like <laughs> melted into the chair for a couple hours. <sighs> Not cool. But I think what I'm going to do now is get into my pajamas slather everything with this I have a snack because like i said no appetite but we're on the side of the just eating everything we see and over there we have lay's salt vinegar chips focus could you focus there they are the best and they're not lay's they're ruffles i lied but yeah so that's the plan i know i have like zero vlog footage for today well not zero obviously i have very little though um, so I think I'm just going to combine today with tomorrow because I kind of have a feeling I'm not going to be feeling so great tomorrow either. Um, I am losing my towel and also losing my mic. Um, so yeah, I kind of feel like I'm going to be blah tomorrow as well and that'll catch me up one more day. I'm a little bit stressed right now because today is Tuesday. My French vlog goes up on, I think, Friday and I still need to do the subtitles. It'll be fine. Anyways, with that... I'm gonna go and so I will see you tomorrow morning or maybe afternoon, who knows, in the next clip. Good afternoon, super cool party people and welcome to the vlog. It is 20 after two. I did not just wake up, I promise, I promise. I woke up probably around 10, 10.30. Yeah, excuse the mess back there. And um, then I was kind of in and out of consciousness until 12-ish trying to sweat whatever is in my system out of it. I don't know, I'm feeling a little bit better today, but still not the greatest, but we are like in full on moving, packing. There's empty things back there. Everything under my bed is gone. I just feel so useless because I am pretty useless. I moved the stuff out from under my bed and I have now been laying down in my bed for like almost half an hour because it was so hard. Anyway, I still have tomorrow off, I think, which is great. I have no idea what day it is. Wednesday, yes, I still have tomorrow off, so that is good. Um, I think the plan is to, like, start moving beds and stuff tomorrow, so... I feel like there's still a lot. There's not, though, because I can see everything that there is. It still feels like a lot. Anyway, I think I'm going to put on, like, some real pants. I, like, dressed from the top up, and then maybe I can help move stuff. I don't know. It was pretty, like, I moved for it. I mean, I had to climb under my bed, but still. I moved it from there to the living room, and then I had to, like, I had to sit down out there for, like, ten minutes, and then I, like, finally just came in here because, ugh. Anyway, it's so crazy. Things are moving fast. I should take the stuff off my wall and off that wall. And off that wall. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, that's where we're at. Just thought I would start the vlog finally. I've just been lazy and I didn't feel like starting it before now. It's cool. Alrighty, so I am back home and I'm packing more stuff up. I'm watching a YouTube video. I always... There it is. Um, I've taken everything... Well, not everything. I've taken a lot of stuff off the walls. And I'm packing up a bookshelf and I just found this binder. And I was like, oh, what's in this binder? I was like, oh, I think it's um, Japanese stuff. Which, yes very much there is Japanese stuff in here but it's also I guess where I was world planning because it's got um, continents and stuff in my world and I guess some thoughts but then which is really cool is it's got I don't know if it's all of them but it's got a list of 15 of my stories with a brief description for all of them oh sorry that was way too close and where they take place in my world Good job me. So this is a great tool because I always struggle and especially with like timelines because it's it's like creating a world history. It's kind of a lot. So I'm glad I found this and I know this is here. So when I'm unpacking, I should pull it out and make sure they keep it separate. I think there's more Japanese here. Yes, more Japanese, <laughs> but that's exciting. So I just want to share. My room is a complete and utter disaster at the moment. I've moved more stuff out but I can barely, like, I can barely get off my bed onto the floor because there's a mess there. What's this? Oh, taxes. Yay. <laughs> oh, this is cool, actually. So back in high school, we had to create a country um, in a group project. Uh, our country was called Karis, and it was kind of off Sri Lanka, like that area. It's all in French. <laughs> but, eh. So geography, so that's what it looked like. And then this was 
This was it here. So there's India, Sri Lanka, that was Karis. So I guess I've always liked world building. Look at this, topiography, vegetation, natural resources, de uh, demographic. I could not translate that demography. I was struggling. Um, capitals, villages and vi uh, towns, capitals, cities and towns. <laughs> That's the proper one, infrastructure. Uh, climate in January, climate in July. I did all of these. I remember it was a group project. I definitely did all of these though. Um, I think this is a river system. There are not many rivers there. <laughs> cool. A couple lakes. Economy, importance in percentage. That's my writing, 100%. I have no idea what chômage is. More like, look how much work. There's a reason I kept this because I feel like I did the most work. I think like some of these. The other girls in my group did, but... <laughs> oh look, there's, wait, go back. Tourism. 25% of the economy. Anyway. <laughs> Health. I'm gonna move this here so it's a little bit easier to see. Education and media, these were mine because I can tell because the terrible printer paper and printer quality because we had like the ribbon printer. May, oh, magazines, I was just gonna say in French. Stores and shops financial services, imports and exports, tourism. Like this is crazy how much work we put into this. Like, and then I do remember clothes, culture, languages. And I remember we had to present it in class and so we brought food and stuff. I'm sitting in a really awkward angle. Oh, there's elephants there. Government. Look at this, look at this. It's the national um, anthem which is no i cannot tell like this part's in french this part's in french and this must be made up language or something but look at like that's my writing again so i know i did this i'm like i kind of feel like it's one of those group project things you know like the memes where it's like where you did all the work kind of feel like that <laughs> timeline and bibliography at the back here and then notes because we had to include our notes in here <laughs> yes fun times and this looks like oh yeah it's just like stapled together but anyways that was the imaginary country that i made up i think it was like social studies 11 and again yeah all in french because all in french it's been kind of neat to find these things and this might be a good resource as i'm world building because it's got a lot of information in there but i'm gonna go now I'm going to keep packing stuff up and also just try and take it easy too because yeah, it's, a, it's, it's draining me. Alrighty, so almost everything is off my walls. That's down. I just need to take the banner down and then like my goal boards from over there, but I'm doing all right. I'm stopping for a candy cane break because I want a candy cane. And then I think I'm gonna to try to, this is mostly boxes up here. So I'm gonna get down the boxes and all the little trinkets. If I can get the bookshelves empty today, I think that will be a great success because, oh my God, this is, it's a disaster. I know. Um, because that's all just clothes that can basically go as is and then I'll just have to find somewhere for my desk stuff but other than that I think we're we're getting close to done so it's very exciting I think the plan is like I think I mentioned earlier is to move bedding and stuff tomorrow and um not just bedding also the beds and then you know kind of start living at the other place and then I mean the other stuff we can move slowly but who knows I do not know. It's supposed to pour rain, so who knows. But that is the plan, and I think so far it's going well, but I'm pretty tired because I'm pretty sick. But we'll survive. Maybe. <laughs> if I don't survive, I don't have to move anything else. Update time. It is now 10 after 8, and like I've been, I've been making progress. Everything is off the walls here. Oh, I already showed that. There's been no more wall progress. <laughs> this closet is getting very empty. I mean, this stuff is mine and that stuff is mine. 
and that's it everything else isn't mine so we're good i need to deal with my recycling again i am the worst honestly i like do it once every week and a half and i only do it because it gets to the point where i need to do it it's terrible here's where the big progress has been made i've got rid of the shelves that were up here and a lot of the books are out uh the very bottom shelves are completely empty so i just grabbed a banana box whoop and I'm gonna try to get everything else in there. I also kind of want to do laundry tonight, but if I do, I need to do it within like the next 20 minutes because the laundry room is closed from 10 o'clock on. It takes like an hour and a half to do laundry, so I need to decide. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to pack all that up and then <laughs> make a decision, I guess. I feel like I've got a lot done today and nothing at all because like this is all I've done and barely that. And I've been in bed a lot. I haven't even made my bed because I've just been in and out of it because I am a little tired. I just kicked something. I don't even know what it was. But we're making progress. I'm hoping that it's not raining tomorrow so we can at least move some stuff over. And I like need to start emptying that. It's very broken <laughs> and so it's glued together in some spots. So I don't know that we'll be able to move it to the upstairs. But I have some ideas so maybe it'll work. I'm gonna go now though because gotta get stuff done. I should really do laundry today because I don't have to worry about it tomorrow, but also I am lazy. Alrighty, so I'm slowly starting to come back to the world of the living. That's almost completely empty now. I've emptied out some of the stuff. It's on my desk. My TV's gone. The recycling has gone much, much worse because I, I just, I, I should do it. I did laundry too. I don't think I mentioned that. Um, I mentioned that I was thinking about doing it, but I did actually do it, so that's exciting. Um, currently, I have my desk. I just posted a blog post, which is, I, I want a daily, I want a daily blog because that's how I started blogging in the first place. I used to blog every single day, like when it was like 2010, oh, so long ago, it was 2010 and I decided, you know, I'm going to blog every single day for at least a year and then we'll see how it goes. And I think I ended up doing it for like a year and a half and then I kind of went on that on and off and then there's a situation where somebody in my life who I knew knew about my blog I no longer wanted them to know what I was doing in my life and so I stopped blogging at that point but I do want a daily blog I enjoy it and um, it's just really neat watching how much my blog has grown this year since I like made that commitment like for example I know this really isn't the best way to show it I should just do a screen record but my views for all of 2017 when I started this vlog was 180. For last year's 267. And for this year, it's over a thousand. Like, look at that growth. Like, in, wait, where is the monthly? In, I think it was, oops, that's not, duh, that's, anyways, where are we? Where are we? I'm so confused. By, I think it was um, February, maybe just early March, I managed to exceed all the views that I'd had for the year before which is crazy and you can see like days that I post <laughs> versus days I don't post I like seeing that growth I think it's pretty cool and and I just I like I like writing it's my thing if you don't know this by now that writing is my thing then I don't think you'll ever know now look see just got another like on my post I just put up <laughs> anyway um that's definitely one of my goals for the new year is to be more consistent again I would love to see my vlog grow even more just like I'd love to see my vlog grow I was looking at the analytics lately because my daily analytics like each video like it's slowly going up but I used to get like one maybe two views and now I'm like averaging three to six which I think is fantastic um but yeah it's slowly going up like I got like 91 views on all my videos today or maybe yesterday I don't know but I think that's really cool I just love I love back-end stuff it's neat anyway <laughs> I'm just rambling but I am alive surviving oh i took that off the wall too it's getting so barren in here i feel like i should still definitely <laughs> do the recycling tonight because that'll clean off almost the entire top of this and then maybe tomorrow depending we can start moving this and that ah it's so quick and so like i mean i didn't start moving anything out of my room until today and it's already almost empty crazy anyways i'm gonna go now i'm watching i'm rewatching english i am rewatching the crown i decided to start from the beginning because i don't know i'm just a history nerd and i love it so that's what i'm doing i finished watching season three and then i was like i want more crown and claire foy ha love her 
So that's what we're doing. Maybe I'll make a list of things I want to do. I'm just, I'm not feeling like writing, so I'm just kind of puttering, and that's okay too. Well, it is, oh wow, it is 20 to 1. I did not realize it was that late. I've just been sitting here editing my vlog from the 8th, which is the French vlog, and by editing I mean adding subtitles. I figured it would take me two hours to do it, and it pretty much took me exactly two hours to do it. So, that's fun. It is done now. I am also on, like, episode five of The Crown season one, which I haven't really been watching. It's just kind of been playing in the background while I've been editing. <sighs> but yeah, it that took forever. It's done. I knew when I was editing that there were some times when I used French words that were the wrong French words, so I just kind of fudged it with the um, subtitles because it's what I meant. But anyway, I think I'm going to climb into bed here shortly once that finishes exporting so I can upload it and then at least we're good until through to Friday. Ooh, Friday is coming up soon because tomorrow is Thursday and every couple days I've been managing to shrink my gap a little bit which is great because I'd rather be vlogging one day and uploading the next but also then that means I need to vlog one day, edit that day, and upload the next. So I don't think I'm ready for that type of commitment, but <laughs> we'll get there. In any case, I'm going to go to sleep here very shortly. So with that, I'm going to say thank you so much for coming along on today's, and I guess yesterday's adventure in the situation that's happening here. And I will see you tomorrow when we do very similar things. Good night.